All right, let me get this set up. All right, this will be my expression. This will be my uh, assignment for the expression of start period by Kellen Bach. So the expressionist movement started in 1910 and ended about 1930. The expressionist architecture originated from Germany, but was popular with the Dutch, Czech, Danish, and Austrian architects. This type of architecture is called this because it wavered from traditional architecture norms and instead focused on expressing creative ideas. As you can see around here, not exactly the typical building that you might see down the street. Expressionist architecture was influenced by literary and philosophical uh, professors found in Nietzsche and Kierkegaard. Early, early expressionist architecture was influenced heavily by Art Nouveau. Some of the key elements of expressionism is the rejection of realism, naturalism, abstract ideas, distortion, and the common jagged and round edges that you see among them. So they really do stand out in the crowd. There's lots of rounded edges around here and on here, and then you can see lots of deep jagged and triangular shapes over here. So the Amsterdam School uh, is an example of expressionist architecture, and, it's, and it was built from 1917 to 1920 by Michael de Klerk, and it's right here. Another example is the Gothianium in Dornoch, built near the Basel, uh, Switzerland, from 1924 to 1928 by Rudolf Steiner, and that's right here. You can see the, the kind of rounded off roof and the very peculiar design of this whole thing. And then the most famous option, which is the Einstein House, built in Potsdam near Berlin from 1919 to 1922 by Erich Mendelssohn. And he is a very famous uh, expressionist architecture architect. Sorry. Speaking of him, here he is. Uh, some common examples of his work include the De La War Pavilion, Mossa House, and the Einstein Tower. Some accolades of expressionist architecture uh, were that it veered away from the average architect, arch, architecture, allowing the, art, allowing the artists to infuse emotion in their works without needing to conform to any architectural norms. As you can see here, this is very extreme and very artistic, just like this. And it's very cool. Not many technical advances, I'm afraid. It's very, the, the architecture is very off-putting, so weren't many advances. Some influence to this include uh, Moorish, Greek, Islamic, Indian, and Islamic, and Islamic styles. Especially as you can see here, that that's heavily influenced by Indian and Islamic architecture. So it originated primarily, primarily in Western Europe, uh, in countries like Germany, Netherlands, and Austria, especially in Germany. So the decline of it, although there's no specific reason that ar expressionist architecture and the expressionism itself declined, most people fi found the art to be inaccessible and a little too off-putting because it was so intense. So a lot of people didn't, didn't really feel this kind of art, and some did which is why it lasted for 20 years, but a lot of people didn't because it was so intense and that so extreme. It was very hard to look at. And here's my bibliography. Thanks so much.